what's going on everybody it's me cosmic i'm back again yes it's been a long time and i do apologize so this is actually my second time recording this i ain't gonna go up front with y'all this really is my second time recording this we gonna go ahead and dive on it. as you can see we're gonna be playing some mafia definitive edition came out a couple weeks ago on the 24th of september I've been wanting to play it for a while. Uh, ooh, it's, it's already telling me to do some stuff. So we're going to hold that because I never want this to be shown to me again. I am thinking about getting Mafia 2, but we'll have to see how good Mafia 1 is. All right. So as you can see, I had already started it. I got continue on there. But we're going to do a free roam. Free, not free roam, but a new free game. So are you sure you want to start a new Yes gonna go ahead and start we're gonna stick with the same classic mode uh, for our controls everything we pretty much kept the same uh, that ooh, tempted all right so we're gonna go ahead and start this story guys let's do it Sorry about that. So, <clears throat> yeah. Since I, I wanted to let the intro kind of do its thing, you know, be all cinematic and cool. But let me just be, let me just be. Let me say this first thing, I've never played the Mafia series except for Mafia 3 a little bit and I really didn't play all of it uh, because I wasn't sure what it was about. So yes, this is really technically my first time truly playing the Mafia series. Uh, I do like Mafia movies and things like that. I find their culture to be very interesting. While I do not condone it, Mafia, while I do not condone gang violence and things of that matter, I cannot sit here and say that it is not one of the most interesting bits of history. I need to really stop hitting my mic. It's, it's actually kind of annoying because I, I keep doing it over and over and over again. And maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah. I am pushed up my mic a bit so that way I don't keep hitting it. But yeah, I'm not condoning it. Gang violence is wrong. But I will say, gosh, it is very interesting and it, it's it's so crazy to think that this was like, this is actually like a part of our history. This game particularly is not, I'm pretty sure this is just a story somebody made. Uh, but just think about it the fact that a lot of the stuff that you see here this stuff was done you know at one point in time it's pretty insane um, like people really lived their lives like they were kings and queens basically of certain neighborhoods or who knows even whole states um, but just a little bit of the back history because I said like I said I have played this a little bit uh, a couple days ago because I actually had started recording it then but my Elgato did something weird where it started off recording my commentary and I don't re record commentary on my Elgato. I do it on Audacity. So that's all fine and dandy. It's all cool. But um, yeah, this game does take place in the 1930s. Uh, hence why the cars look the way they look. Uh, hence why everything looks the way it looks. Uh, but it looks incredible. Like I... I'm excited to get deeper into the game because I pretty much only played like the tech demo basically. Not if I remember correctly, this should be the old guy, D'Angelo. So I'm gonna try not to talk too much during the uh, cutscene. This this doesn't count, but I'm gonna try not to talk too much during the cutscenes because I want you guys, of course, to enjoy it just as much as I am enjoying this because this is about to be a definite experience. Um, and as I said before. We in here with some mafia. Here we go. Get, get, get away. Go away. Go away. You Tommy? Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. Oh. I do this just like that. You alone. <laughs> no self respecting by just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Mm. Thanks. Dip your beak. 
No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. Hmm. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Three. Caught my teeth Three in Empire years. Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, eh? I hate that my chairman says that. And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. Yeah. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money, some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. Daughter. No one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. Hmm. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. Wow. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. <sighs> Either way, looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. <laughs> no one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in 30. An offer you can't refuse, 1930. Take it away, Tommy. Or not. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. I thought. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Polly and Sam. Who's that? Nah, bro, Get that couldn't have been us. There's a taxi here. Get my car we'll be okay. Go. Move it. Come on. We're two. We're in clear. Fast. I might get an accent listening to these guys long enough. I just want everybody to know that. All right, here we go. Fast and furious. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? <laughs> now I remember. It matter Yo, now. let up off the them. gas when you took. Did somebody shoot me? And somebody shot throwing. him in the back of the head. But he literally got shot in the back of his head. Hold tight. I'm, I'm gonna try something. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Up, I guess. Your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. Uh, you got a death wish or something? Hurts like hell. <laughs> when we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just get in the call anyways. 
Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Hey, bro, don't have an attitude with me. I'm over here trying to save y'all. Like, remember this. Okay, we're at the point. river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. No, I just can't stand when people sit here to have such an attitude when you're trying to help. Ungrateful. Like, I'm just trying to save life. More of them. Ah, yeah. shit. Here we go. I know some shortcuts that'll slow them down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake them off. Yeah, bro, I got you, Roski. <laughs> Shortcut. Whoa! I lost them Not all of them. These guys really don't like it, do they? I'm times business partners all out. Oh, I think I just hit it somebody. Happens. Quit yapping, Polly. More he knows, more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Is there anybody behind me? I don't think there's anyone behind me. Oh, well, he disappeared. You left them in the dirt. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. Poor bastards digging the road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Oh no. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Oh, no. Four. Oh no. Five, maybe. They know with him, he's called for more. Sure feels like it. Next time we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. If the boss hears about this, there'll be hell to pay. Ooh. Ooh, that don't no, 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 get out of the way. Don't worry, boys and girls, I got this. I'm an excellent driver. Just to say a word out. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. Alright, time to kick it into overdrive. Imagine if this 1930 Fast and Furious right here, baby. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah, we can make it. Whoa! What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. I just want to say at this, <laughs> we could have died. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. I'm gonna take a slow day. I didn't see this coming. Son, you, you got a death wish or something? Sorry, Sam, calm down, boy. I swear to God, you come at me like that again. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Bro, my taxi on my, my headlights out, man. I'm gonna give me a ticket and everything. Okay, we're close. All right, a little over in front of that bar. To the Aries place. Yeah, that's the one. My taxi got messed up. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Depends on what it is. I like my life, so. I like living. What's up, 
Palo. Come on over here, boy. We get something for that skin complexion. Looking like a ghost over there. Bye, have a great time. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. I appreciate that. Don doesn't forget his friends. I ain't really his friend, Don. I don't know him like yeah, that. Okay, thanks. This is why I can't work for the mafia. <sighs> Too smart. One to more mob. thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you wanted it poker. The scratches on your car. You swear. I'm away. That's that's bullet holes. That's not Keep scratches. Keep from hitting a little old lady. You got How it. do I explain bullet holes? Yeah. Of course. See you around, kid. Yo, does anybody else have the same question? How do you explain bullet holes? That wasn't scratches. Look at the back of my ta taxi. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Of course you didn't. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Look at my, oh my god, what kind of apartment? Oh, this is 19, oh. We should still have some electricity. Maybe I'm just that poor. All right, so that's chapter one right there, boys and girls. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just end it here because it's chapter one. So it's good to be back. Don't worry. We got a lot more videos that are coming. Uh, Avengers content is coming. I will be doing updates on that every week if I can. Anything that they uh, basically post for Twitter. Uh, if we get any updates, I will try to do a breakdown of everything. Also, you will get to see my characters and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to attempt the Mega Hive. I think it's still up. I haven't been on there in a, in a couple of days. So I have to check. So I'm going to attempt the, the Mega Hive, see how that goes. But anyway, the, uh, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still a work in progress. I'm still working on my commentary and things like that. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's all coming together. So anyway, guys, uh, please remember to subscribe. Remember to like, remember to comment. Uh, and as always, be safe, be smart. And until we meet again, peace.